Just when you thought airport security couldn't get any more unbearable, well, guess what? Prepare for even more scrutiny now? The TSA warning that terrorists are seriously considering a new tactic, surgically implanting explosive devices. It could mean big changes in the screening procedures again, and chances are they won't be less intrusive. Texas Republican Ron Paul is a presidential candidate, and he is introducing the American Traveler Dignity Act, saying we should completely replace the TSA with private security firms. Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say, Congressman. I'm used to saying good morning on Fox and Press. Sorry okay. about that. Good, good afternoon. <laughs> so you are introducing this uh, new plan to privatize, uh, I guess, what's now known as the TSA. How would that make it better? Well, it'll make it efficient. Uh, there's no history to show that government bureaucrats are ever more efficient than the private market. But there's two different ways how you privatize something. If you just take the airport security from the, and the government uh, hires out private firms, that's not, for me, privatization. That's sort of a combination of big business and big government, and that doesn't solve the problem. The responsibility should be on the airlines, just as it's on the responsibility of the owners of chemical plants and the owners of armored cars. They take charge of that, and they do a very, very good job. And the government was in charge of security security before 9-11, they did a lousy job. They prohibited guns from being on the airplane and they said nobody should resist. And so we set the stage for 9-11. Uh -huh. So I want the owners to assume responsibility and the burden would be on the airlines and it would save the taxpayer an awful lot of money. So if I run an airline right now, tell me if I'm right or wrong, I don't think I like this plan because what's it going to cost me? Oh, well, that's the reason we don't have it. The airlines are in bed with the government. They, they're they partners with the government. They don't want the liability and they don't want the responsibility, but they should have it. Yes, it'll cost them money and you'll have to pay for it with a, a higher ticket, but you'll pay lower taxes, but they'll do a better job. And uh, it's going to be so much more efficient. They're not going to take x-rays of you in the nude and they're not going to prod and poke you. They're not going to prod and poke little kids and 95-year-old right. women. They're going to figure it out because they've got to treat them like customers. But, but, so it's all the difference in the world. But Congressman Paul, you, you're on Capitol Hill. You know that there's a lot of waste of taxpayer dollars. Are you just assuming that if we privatize this, that all the tax dollars that were going to the TSA would suddenly be given back to us? Well, it should be. You can't assume anything with the politicians and the bureaucrats <laughs> because uh, they always figure out a way to keep it. They're, they're endless. And then uh, if they don't get enough, then they go to the Fed and they get the Fed to do their bailing out. So it's outrageous. It's totally out of control. Mm -hmm. uh, but you have to make the effort. You have to make the suggestion. What is the alternative? If right. you can't depend on government, whom should you depend on? And I say depend on the market. Private owners take much better care of the property than government has ever done. Well, let me tell you about some of the enhanced security measures that are now going to apparently go into place with the TSA because of these reports about sur surgically implanted bombs from Al-Qaeda. Uh, here it is. Uh, more behavior detection officers, more airport interviews and pat-downs. In addition, in an effort to detect traces of explosives, passengers' skin and clothing may be swabbed. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I think that's an outrage. I mean, horrible. You know, if the private airlines were doing it, they might have one sniff dog that knows something about explosives, and that's all you would need. Mm -hmm. You don't need all this other stuff. No, it, it's going to cost a, a lot more money. And I've said, and I sincerely believe this, if the American people can look at these uh, pictures on TV about what they do to 95-year-old women, what they do to little kids, and the groping of the groins, and if the American people say, oh, that's okay with me, I'll tell you what, we're in a lot worse shape than I think we're in. Right, because I the argument... I think we've given up. If we, if we, if we accept that, right. we're in bad well, trouble. Well, because, you, as you know, the argument is that a lot of Americans are okay with that because they, they feel like in this day and age since 9-11, they might have to give up a liberty. I'm just saying that's the other side of the equation here to keep everyone safe. Before you go, I got to get this question in though. If you privatize airport screening and security, how does profiling fit into that? Well, they're allowed to because a private company uh, has a, a, an obligation. If you don't like the airline and they do too much profiling, then you don't fly, fly on that airline. 
But today, there are not a lot of profiles. So a 95-year-old woman gets treated like a terrorist, and somebody else who really looks like he, oh, that guy, I might want to ask him an extra question. Oh, well, we can't ask him as many questions. Matter of fact, they even back off because he looks so, sort of suspicious. No, an airline, a private airline, has the right to be suspicious. And uh, they can, you know, in a way. But if they overdo that, they're going to have a bad reputation, and the customers are going to, uh, you know, make sure that they uh, they, they hear about it. Very interesting. Uh, let us know how your new plan, the American Traveler Dignity Act, let us know if it's successful or not. Congressman Ron Paul, always great to see you. Thanks so much. Have a good weekend.